You report your success to Lucane. He smiles and tells you to keep the runestone to use in your adventures. Now you can view research materials about rune magic whenever you... You produce the stone tablet you brought back from the temple ruins. He swallows hard and examines the tablet. The ancient demon script is difficult for even Lucane to read. He can only deduce that it is a contract of some sort. Upon further examination, Lucane finds something he can read. The name of the demon king. Majina Gusna Idrashin. The name jogs your memory. You've heard it before. But where? Lucane cannot tell anything else about the tablet. Oh, which one? Which one? The name of the demon king, Majino Gusna Idrashin. You're positive you've heard. Wandering one, how can I help you? The old man grows excited when you walk by. He grabs the... When you try to take the tablet back, the old man chants... You stand there, gobsmacked, when the old man thanks you in a calm, clear voice. He continues his story. We had obtained the crown of Elysia known as the Dragon's Crown. However, it had no power to control the dragons. Those legends were myths to lionize the Elysian King. The crown in the ruins was merely decorative. However, I decided that I would infuse the crown with the power the legends spoke of. It would be my life's work. To do this, I would go to any lengths. I collaborated with shadowy cabals and sold my soul to the Demon King for power. Without the tablet, the crown's power will now vanish. The religion that used me cannot control the ancient dragons. The old man tells you in closing that he is the magician Wallace. In the next moment, he appears to melt into the air. The magician Wallace who disappeared is Lucane's friend. You must tell him of this surprising encounter. You tell Lucane everything that transpired with Wallace, the tablet, and the dragon's crown. Lucane is listening intently to your story when he suddenly bolts upright all of his lost memories have returned to him. It was Wallace who killed Lucane. He asked Lucane to come to the labyrinth so he could steal Lucane's black runestones. Those runestones are special runes that make a teleportation gate. They're said to be made by a fairy with ancient powers. Wallace was used to open a gate to the illusionary land. The ancient dragon sleeps there, a land the goddess sealed. The shadowy religion must have wanted to be able to control that giant dragon. They shared Wallace's goal. Even rumors of this organization having the power of dragons would be chaotic. You can't just hope it'll never be found. Lucane says that if the crown were to be anywhere, it would certainly be in the Mage's Tower. Morneon took over the Mage's Tower, likely because it housed many types of research, as well as Wallace's laboratory. Oh, how can I help you? You infiltrate the Mage's Tower to find the Dragon's Crown. <laughs> The Mage's Tower, once greatly admired by magicians as a bastion of wisdom. 
It now embodies all the fears Hydeland has of being conquered by the rebel forces which conspire against it. It's my turn. A half-naked woman is lying in a dark corner, bound by a chain. Looking closer, you discover she's a kidnapped spirit. The followers of Morneon seem to be capturing as many spirits and fairies as they can find to power their rune magic. Rune magic gates have been opened many times in this tower, and the magicians are even traveling to the illusionary land. The spirit finishes her story with a bone-chilling revelation. They have awakened the ancient dragon. After freeing the spirit, you go into the room of one of the Morneon leaders. The leaders had already concealed themselves, sensing your presence in the tower.
Be careful. The road ends here. Molten rock bars any further progress forward. Tiki finds a rune carved into a stone coffin. The molten lava attacks you as if it is alive. Steer the magic carpet and keep it from burning.
has a special characteristic. Look at the colors of the orbs. The warlock has begun a high level incantation. successful in slaying one of the Morneon leaders. However, you didn't find the dragon's crown inside the mage's tower. <laughs> 